see, I see India as the, you know, if, if I didn't see a vision, I would not be here in the first place. That's my first thing. I was in the US for a long time. I came back to India for one sole purpose, to make India the superpower in blockchain. And as I said on, my, on the stage also, we've missed the Web 1 bus, we've missed the Web 2 bus, but the Web 3 bus is ours. This is India's destination and that's where we are guiding it. I'm sure all of us are working towards the same vision. That's my vision. Like any new technology, the blockchain is also one of the disruptive technology. And disruption in terms of the, uh, not only the use cases, but also for the benefit of the society, this technology can be made very useful. And India, uh, for looking into the India requirement, we have got a huge uh, demographic uh, population here and their data is not unified, so distributed. And many times, because of the federal nature, the data is not coming out to a center place. So blockchain can be one of the useful technology where the federal structure of the uh, Indian government can be used for putting the data in terms of the public health, in terms of the farming, in terms of the education related. Those data can be used for the uh, uh, working out a policy framework for the support mechanism for creating a network uh, uh, for the larger benefit of the society. That's a very good question because that's something which is close to my heart. First, we covered 289 schools and universities where we teach blockchain free of charge. Second, for tier two and tier three, that's more important for me, 32,000 children we teach blockchain and emerging technologies. So that's my second achievement. I call those achievements. I don't call it the projects I do achievements. That's part of business as usual. But I think the most important thing we've done is we've created a foundation for girls. I don't know whether most of you know that. My wife and I, whatever we do, whatever we earn, 75% of that we put towards this foundation to educate the girl child on tech education. So that's something which is the closest to my heart. That's achievements three. But I think the biggest crowning glory, I would say, is our partnership with the government of Goa. The government of Goa and India Blockchain Alliance are getting together to create the world's largest, not India's largest, the world's largest Web3 district in India, in Goa. So where we're gonna have developers, funds, founders, founder school, educationists, everybody in the Web3 ecosystem converge into one single place, which will become next Nalanda of India. Whenever the new technology comes, it comes first with the bad name. So the blockchain came with the bad name. This kind of the program are really useful, which not only defies the kind of the bad name it has created, but also creates the new opportunity and new confidence among the likely users who can use such technology for the benefit of the people. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.